This is so painful and terrible that the Ambazonia fighters finally killed the driver and the police officer who were accompanying the divisional officer for Baminda, a two, and set free the five of those they took away together with the divisional officer for Baminda, two. That was on February 6, 2024. They all left Baminda to on, uh, going to Mkambe and on their way, the Amazonia fighter took them away, kidnapped them. And on that very day, the divisional officer, in which I believe was the target, gave us a video on social media saying he escaped from the Amazonia captivities. And he did not explain detailed how he managed to escape under the Amazonian fighters, leaving behind all those who were with him, the police officer, his driver, and all those who were with, with him. And from that day, we have been praying that the Amazonian fighters should have pity on these people because they are all innocent, then sex them free. They are not the one blocking their way to achieve their independence. But today, we heard that the Amazonia fighter set five of those free. They, they released them. Some people say they pay money before they were released. But finally, they killed two, the police officers and the driver of the divisional officer. And then if you have come across that video on social media, your heart will trouble you. You will ask yourself whether these are human beings. You, you heard a kind of celebration behind after executing, brutally executing these two human beings, these two Cameroonians. You ask yourself whether they, they have achieved or gained that independence that they have been fighting for. No, they, that celebration is just after killing human beings. And then I ask myself, where are we leading to? Where is our conscience that people today are celebrating killing another human being without any pity? It is terrible. I keep on saying this, that the Ambazonia fighter will never achieve independence through fighting because they cannot in any way killed all the military of the Cameroon government. No one day. And the military of the Cameroon government or the government of Cameroon can never end the Anglophone crisis or the Amazonia crisis militarily. Why? Because Amazonia is an ideology. And, and also because the strategy that the government of Cameroon and the entire military are using in southern Cameroon, that strategy is instead increasing the number of Ambazonia fighters every blessed day. Because the military failed to face the Ambazonia fighters, but turned to punish the population, accusing them that they are collaborating with the Ambazonia fighters. And like that, they try to kill innocent people, and the relatives to those innocent people become angry, and some of them turn to join Ambazonia in order to revenge. And that is the reason I keep on saying that what, and everybody, nearly everybody, is calling on the government of Cameroon to call for a sincere and an inclusive dialogue. To end this crisis. Look at these two people who have gone. One police officer. In which he joined the police course. In order to. Reduce insecurity in Cameroon. So that Cameroon will live in safety. But President Pobia. Went and created. The Anglophone crisis. And now police officers. Instead of them to maintain peace. And order within Cameroon. They are now fighting their own brothers. And sisters. 
military in which people joined military in order to uh, uh, protect the people of Cameroon are now today under the leadership of President Pobia being used to fight their own brothers and sisters, the very people that they joined the military to guide or protect. I keep on saying it. We should stop pretending sincerely in the heart of President Pobia and all military generals. They know that they can never one day end the Anglophone crisis military today. Sincerely in the heart of all Ambazonia leaders, they are aware that they will never achieve any independence. Through fighting, that one day they will kill all the military of the Cameroon government and then achieve their independence. I told the Amazonian fighter and the Amazonian leaders that the reason they cannot kill all the military and the government can never surrender is because those who are, those military means nothing to the government of Cameroon. They are the children of the poor. The children of the frustrated Cameroonians who joined the military out of frustration. And because President Bobia has created frustration within Cameroon, and nearly 50% of Cameroonians are all frustrated, President Bobia is now using those frustrated people and the children of the poor to recruit them in the military. Since the Anglophone crisis started, you can look at the statistics. Each year, the, the number of recruitment, military recruitment that President Pobia and the military are doing in Cameroon keep on increasing. When you keep one military, they recruit 20. Because thousands of poor people are out there, frustrated people are out there, just looking for what to eat. And President Pobia is using them. That's the reason I say you people can never finish them. They just, they, they are, they, they, the police recruitment is going on. Or they have even finished with. Some are still in training. Just 2023, 20, they killed 292 police officers in southern Cameroon. And they are now recruiting. Or they have recruited more than 10,000 of them. To send to what? To southern Cameroon, and they have taken another strategy that all southern Cameroonians who are police officers or military, they will be the one to be sent to southern Cameroon. So when you kill one, you are killing your own brothers who joined the military before this struggle came, who joined the police a course before this struggle came. Why are we doing this to ourselves? How can we be so wicked to our own brothers and sisters, in which we are from the same? In ancestor, our parents will be ashamed. They saw this problem on the table. They were moving to the United Nations every blessed day. Jungle Fonja, Endele, Estimona, and many others. They were going to the United Nations every blessed day because they were aware that they cannot fight and achieve anything. Instead for us today that we claim that we are educated, we are in the 21st century educated. Instead for us to follow that same way so that we can achieve something, we decided to take the violence way. And today, this is where we are. We don't know whether we should be going left or we should be going to the right. We should be going forward or we should be going behind. And with that confusion, we took on creating different, different groups. You cannot count the numbers of Amazonian government existing just because of confusions, lack of wisdom and strategy. And you keep on killing and doing terrible things.